To be like Jesus, love for God is essential for perfect health. For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 20 Our bodies belong to God. He paid the price of redemption for the body as well as for the soul. The Creator watches over the human machinery, keeping it in motion. Were it not for His constant care, the pulse would not beat, the action of the heart would cease, the brain would no longer act its part. The brain is the organ and instrument of the mind and controls the whole body. In order for other parts of the system to be healthy, the brain must be healthy. And in order for the brain to be healthy, the blood must be pure. If by correct habits of eating and drinking, the blood is kept pure, the brain will properly nourish. It is the lack of harmonious action in the human organism that brings disease. The imagination may control the other parts of the body to their injury. All parts of the system must work harmoniously. The different parts of the body, especially those remote from the heart, should receive a free circulation of blood. The limbs act an important part and should receive proper attention. God is the great caretaker of the human machinery. In the care of our bodies, we must cooperate with Him. Love for God is essential for life and health. In order to have perfect health, our hearts must be filled with love and hope and joy. Those who put their whole souls into the mach medical missionary work, who labor entirely in peril, in privation, in watching, oft in weariness, and painfulness are in danger of forgetting that they must be faithful guardians of their own mental and physical powers. They are not to allow themselves to be overtaxed, but they are filled with zeal and earnestness, and they sometimes move unadvisedly, putting themselves under too heavy a strain. Unless such workers make a change, the result will be that sickness will come upon them and they will break down. We have a calling as much high than common, selfish interests as the heavens are higher than the earth. But this thought should not lead the willing, hard-working servants of God to carry all the burdens they can possibly bear without periods of rest. To be like Jesus, October 31st. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you all for listening, and please join us once again tomorrow for your daily devotional reading. God bless.